It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. And it's a day away from the landmark Soweto uprising on 16 June 1976 that we commemorate. And it's a fine example of the potency of the youth that they possess when they stand united. And in recent years, we've seen the spirit of this historical event in various student movements and the power of social media that allows everyone to have their own take on these events. And this is when the voice of the young, up and coming comedians can shed some interesting light. And four of these talents will be seeing youth day in with some laughs at the Artscape Youth Comedy Fest tonight. And in a lineup with Lindy Johnson, Eureka Nkese, Phil DeLange, and hosted by Ambrose urine now lindy and eureka they join us this morning on your feel good breakfast show to share a little bit more good morning good morning, good morning. Zoe. thank well, you for having us it's great to have you guys here you've completed one show tonight is the final show yes. but lindy i need to ask you you know the, these are serious things that happen and we are commemorating it but how have you used humor as a tool to deal with serious issues you know to be honest Pain is hilarious. It is one of the funniest things you could ever feel. Like in the moment, it isn't that funny, but it's something everybody can relate to. We've all been dumped. We've all no. Okay, just me. Then we've all felt pain in different ways. Yeah, <laughs> and we all deal with it in different we ways. We all deal with it, but yes. it's funny. It's funny, and if you can just relate that to pain and something we've all felt, then it'll always work. It'll always be a winner. Well, they always say laughter is the best medicine. Now, Eureka, I need to ask you, you know, a lot of people always say, oh, the youth of today can't be taken seriously. But what do you think? I think uh, the youth of today uh, can definitely be taken seriously because, like, first of all, we have platforms that were not there in the past where people can be heard and be taken seriously. And maybe if people don't take the youth seriously, maybe they should because also, you know, you never know what information that you need to get to your next level and can come from anywhere. So you don't want to miss that just because you dismiss someone at, first, like, you know, at face value. Yeah, yeah. And especially because of their age. And I feel, Lindy, you know, these days we have access to so much information. The youth is, you know, they're aware of the politics going on. How's your role as a female stand-up comedian been? How have you been enjoying your platform? I've enjoyed it immensely. The there aren't many of us, but you know what? As soon as you see just being on this platform and being an opportunity to have the opportunity to show people, well, here's one woman, she's young, she's doing the thing, might inspire someone else who's yes. also funny to be able to do things. And it's just, if I have to open that door, then it's fine. And I'll do that. I'll, I'll stand there. It's okay. <laughs> You'll stand there. Yeah, I'll <laughs> just open the door for other people and I'll have fun doing it as well. Fantastic. And, yeah. you know, Eureka, your style of comedy, which, mm -hmm. which way do you prefer to take it? To make light of a serious situation or to use it as an educational moment? Um, personally, with my style of comedy, I love to tell stories. Mm -hmm. That's like a, a, I'm a storyteller at heart. But also, I do feel like, you know, if I'm up there, you know what I mean, I should use that that platform to to talk about the serious issues so that like when I'm off stage it can be an easier conversation starter yeah. you know what I mean so I like to talk about like you know your racial issues I like to talk about you know your transformation and those kind of things so that like maybe it's a little bit difficult to to, to talk about in the beginning but maybe after my set you'll be like you know that comedian guy said something about transformation what do you think it's a lot easier now because we've all had a laugh and a smile about it it's a great catalyst to open a, a topic for discussion definitely yeah. and what can people expect tonight Ooh. what's in for them oh man lots of love you have to sell it oh, man. fire <laughs> yeah. the best thing it's if the last best night show to go some, magic. <laughs> <laughs> some magic <laughs> some magic Lindy's practicing a new set I've never <laughs> seen <laughs> but yeah definitely wild it's gonna things, be wild yeah things. it's gonna be if an you're not amazing there, show you're missing out then I, I kind of feel sorry for you yeah actually. and come you guys there's no hurricane like there's someone no. told my mom that there's a hurricane no, there's no, 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 no hurricane okay. that's complete it's false right. news yeah, well Eureka Lindy thank you for joining us sharing a few laughs and if you're in Cape Town this evening. Don't miss out your chance to enjoy a great evening with comedy from young and unique voices who are lifting up the stage. In fact, they are lighting up the stage. Now, that final performance <laughs> is taking place tonight at the Artscape. It is the Artscape Youth Comedy Fest. It starts at 7.30 and tickets are 80 Rand and they are available at computicket.com.